Hi everybody, and thank you so much for coming back to my channel. If you're new here, I resell things online for a profit. Also, if you're new here, make sure you go and subscribe to my channel, like this video, and share it for some more um, great content to come. I uh, just want to share what sold from uh, April 2nd to April 12th. So I just want to do a quick video over that. I've had some requests to do one, um, and I love watching them myself. So I decided to record one for you guys, and I hope you like it. If you do, make sure you comment below that you do, or let me know what kind of uh, videos you might like for me to make for you. So today, let's just get started on what sold with Poshmark, Macari, and Facebook Marketplace. Thanks again for watching, guys. Go subscribe. All right, guys, so I'm just going to go ahead and dive right in. Let me start by saying um, this stand is amazing. You can find it for a dollar at Dollar Tree. Um, perfect for your phone if you're on the go or if you're just working at home. And then also this metal stand I actually found at a thrift store. So you might find it in the wild or just check online. I know there is some places for it. I have a smaller one to take it to go with me, which is great if I want to work outside, if I want to work from a coffee shop so that my neck isn't, um, you know, stretched to look down at my phone, which creates back pain, sciatic pain, all that jazz. So tips and tricks of being a reseller here. But let me go ahead and start off with what's sold. The first item is a bundle deal. Now let me explain this one for you. I created the bundle for her. She basically came and liked a lot of items. Um, so then I went and I added one item to a bundle, went to the bundle and added all of her likes to a bundle. Um, and then I sent her an offer that was like half of what I was asking. The reason why I can do this is because my cost of goods is very low and some of the items might have been stale, old, or some of them were just items that were mine and I was just happy to get rid of. So to start with this, this is the bundle. It was a pair of Naughty Monkey bronze leather buckle booties. We got the Vince Camuto um, white block jersey jacket, a tam, a tam weekend denim overall skirt double pocket, vintage hoodie um, denim baja belted wrap um, jacket, QPO full zip tropical print track jacket. So this bundle sold for $100, so my profit was $80, and I'm definitely happy with that. I could have got more if I sold them individually, but again, with over a 1,000 active listings, I just want you know things to go to a good home, I want to sell them quickly, and I'm still making more than double my profit, I'm okay with that. All right, next is a Matilda Jane um, sleeveless dress. Uh, it sold for 16 I I thought Matilda Jane would do better than it does. I'm going to be very picky in the future with what pieces I pick up, that's for sure. But if you can get it for under a dollar, it's definitely worth it, even if you have to hold on to it for a little bit. All right, Gap New with Tag Purple Lilac Floral Print Dress. Now, this one I did um, hold on to for a little bit, but it's Gap. I knew I would. And I paid less than 50 cents per item because I bought out the Gap store that was closing um, close to us. So I paid 14, I mean not paid, I sold it for 14. So that was before Poshmark fees. Um, next is a Lauren Conrad blue diamond um, earring. So accessories do great. If you're not picking up accessories, you're definitely um, missing out there because what's great is they're small, they don't take up a lot of space. And it may take a little bit, but it gives people the option to bundle, you know, create a different bundle that mix and matches things. Or I have it a lot of time where people just buy it outright, usually scarves, um, earrings, hats, they'll just buy it, which has surprised me. I figured people would want to bundle at the shipping price um, Posh is charging, but I'm okay with that. I pick up accessories now. People look over those areas. Check those areas, guys. Don't miss out on money. <laughs> All right, next is Gap Sleeveless Floral Coral Dress. Again, another one from that um, Gap store. This one sold for nine. Next is a Flamingo Urban High Neck Floral Print Dress. This one sold for 15. I was happy with that. It was just a boutique um, brand dress, I believe, um, but it was really nice and it was cute. Um, Naturalizer Slip On Black Clog with Strap. Those sold for 15. This isn't something I would pick up typically, but um, the cost of goods was under, uh, what was it, under a dollar? It was a bag sale, so I paid uh, a super cheap price, so 
it's fine. 15 was great actually for that. Promesa tie-dye blouse. Um, this one sold for 15. I had never had that brand before, but um, when I picked it up, it was pretty. I knew at a dollar it was going to sell. Vans off the wall, tan sneaker. Um, I love picking up Vans, love picking up Converse. They sell pretty well if you can get them for under $5. They clean up really well as, um, as well, so that's a good thing. These ones sold for $24. They sold very quickly. It was like less than 10 hours um, of listing them they actually sold, which surprised me because I have had cuter ones listed that didn't sell as quickly. But it could have been the time that they were posted, the buyer was on, who knows. All right, Athleta, long sleeve, hoodie, jacket, brown and green. This one sold for 19. This one also sold within 24 hours, so I was super happy about that one. Um, but it was beautiful, it was a really beautiful print. Uh, print. All right, Levi's, medium wash, um, denim, and, denim bib overalls. I was really happy with finding this piece. I've never seen um, Levi, well not, not never seen Levi ones, but I hadn't found them out in the wild to thrift. So it was exciting sale. I sold them for $25. Um, Cole Haan Grand Os Tan Slip On Loafers. These ones sold for $39. Very happy with that, although it did take like quite a few months to sell. I think it was three months. Um, let's see. But first brunch, women's slip on PJ slippers. Those sold for $10. This was me buying out a Carson store when those, uh, when those went out of business. I probably wouldn't buy these again. I mean, unless I could like bundle them with something else because it did take a long time to sell, but they sold for 10, so whatever. Cole Haan, zero grand, bendable flats. These sold for $15. They're a beautiful wine collar. I'd probably get these again. White House Black Market Wide Laid Gaucho Print. These sold for $21. I'm super happy with this one. It sold um, in less than a week. Uh, and I didn't have, I think, but a dollar in them. So it was a great, um, great deal there. Um, I had a glass bubble charm necklace. This one sold for $15. Nine West Boho Floral Tunic Free Four Sleeve. This one sold for 12. A Steve Madden Cyrus Pink Bow Scrunched Sneakers. So this one actually was um, a bundle deal that I had bought offline because um, I wanted a couple tops for myself and then I figured I'd bundle a ton of other things and just resell the rest and make my money back. So I'm very happy with this profit. Uh, $15 is what I sold it for on Posh. So I probably would pick them up again if I could get them for under a couple bucks. Ralph Lauren Retro Off-White Denim Skirt. This one was kind of like one of those you throw in the bag, you get it home. Yeah, I paid less than a dollar, but it was like, oh, well, I hope it sells. It's cute, but mm, maybe not for someone else. And it sold fairly quickly, actually. It was less than a week, and it sold for $15. Express New With Tag Fringe Black Skirt. This one sold for $17. Talbot's Metallic Silver Leather Stain, Leather Satin Strings, Talbot's. Um, this one was $15. Uh, also a Kashyyyk 2224 Hawaiian Floral Lingerie Strappy. Love selling lingerie, especially when it's plus size um, or a D or double D and larger. They sell fairly quickly for me. Um, this one sold for $24. American Eagle New with Tag White Destroyed Denim Shorts. These ones sold within two days uh, for $15. Um, these ones were something given to me by my mom to sell, so I'm happy with the profits. <laughs> Hudson Dark Wash Flare Denim Jean, um, and then a heart, Hudson Dark Wash Denim Jean Pant again. These two, again, sold in a bundle that I had created for her, created it for her, and then I said, uh, submitted an offer at half off, so she took it. She bought them for $35, so that's great profit right there. Oh, we have a VS 38 Double D Plunge Push-Up Lace Bra. This one sold for $15. Bullhead High Rise Shorts, $10. Hall Press, this was an awesome piece. Hall Press Floral Vintage Romper. 
it just took forever to sell. I think going into this, if it's something that is really cute but needs to be modeled to sell, I'll either A, not pick it up, or B, pick it up and just have to model it because this was something that needed to be modeled to get you know a better price, but I made $21, so I'm happy with that. All right, another VS38 Double D um, VSX Sport Bra Mesh Padding. This one sold for $12. Nine West Point Toe Slip On Flats. These ones sold for $15. We got a Born Concept Fox Snake Skin Slip On Size 10. These ones sold for $15. Um, and Archie Vintage Metallic Gold Venable Flats. These ones sold for $27. Those were an exciting one. I actually picked up over my birthday. Um, I looked them up online and knew they were like an expensive shoe. I'm like, ew, these are so ugly. How is that? Um, so I picked them up because they were only like $2 and I held on to them since January, but I'm honestly going to say that I'm happy with um, holding on to them for $27 off of a $2 profit. So that was great. That makes my total for Poshmark from $4.2 to $4.12, um, $619 gross. That is not including any fees. All right, let's move on to Macari. Macari is not as much, but I honestly don't list as much on there as I should. I've become a little bit better at doing it, which is definitely paying off for me, I can see. I sold um, a Coors uh, graphic print t-shirt for $15, a vintage beach gear uh, t-shirt for $22, Steve Madden purse for $26, a Chi for $23, um, a set of perfume for $14, vintage jeans for $24, Donna Morgan um, dress. It was beautiful for $25. And then a Torrid um, dress. This one was gorgeous as well. It was uh, like layered, lagging look, just gorgeous. And I sold that one for $28. So that makes Macari's $177 for, the, uh, for that time period. And then Facebook Marketplace. This is somewhere I gave up a long time ago because I honestly got pissed off at people not showing up or, you know, always wanting a discount when they get there or making you go here and then they're not there on time. So I got to the point where I was like, I'm over it. But now I'm back on there with certain things, hard goods, um, more expensive items and stuff like that. And I don't hold anything anymore. Um, I'm just over that. People have ruined that for me. All right. So what I sold was a huge dish set. It was Bombay. And I sold that for $50. Really happy about that profit. I um, paid, I think, $12 for the entire set. And I didn't have to pay shipping on it. So that was great. I sold a mini Keurig for $25. Again, no shipping. Uh, another Keurig that was missing one of its, uh, the base parts of the uh, bases. And that one sold for $25. And then another Keurig for $35. Please keep in mind, I um, purchased all my Keurigs at $10 or less. Some of these were less than, you know, five, which was amazing. I always pick Keurigs up. They will sell for parts. They will um, sell new. You can clean them. I might make a video of how I clean my Keurigs to get them working um, like new again to sell. So if you want something like that, just let me know below. All right, what else sold? Let's see. So all that was for $135. What I'm going to include next is just stuff around my house. So all of that stuff was stuff that I thrifted to resell, but this stuff that I'm telling you now is just my stuff. I sold a flat screen TV, uh, a kitchen table, and then a stand for the TV. And that all came to $250. Or $250. So for a grand total on Facebook, I made $385 from April 2nd to April 12th. That makes my entire total... $1,181 before all the fees and what I paid for them. So that's not a bad um, profit margin for, you know, not full-time work. I am also a nurse and I work, you know, part-time to full-time hours every week, 50 to 80 hours per paycheck. It just depends. I um, have a daughter too who takes a lot of my time up and two dogs. I love to garden, but reselling is my focus. This is my breadwinner right here. I make the most online and I love it. I um, 
am hoping to branch off my YouTube and give you guys some more great content. And I'm just going to keep posting and growing on Poshmark and Macari and possibly eBay. We'll see. Thank you so much for watching. And again, if you haven't, make sure you like this video, comment below, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you all for watching again. Have a great day.